Hey Clear Lake peeps, Ross England here, Clear Lake Guide Service, with your report on what's going on up here, conditions and all that good stuff, for uh, October 7th, 2021. I thought I'd change it up a little bit for you, rather than, uh, I'm not exactly on the water, but then again I kind of am. If you're familiar with the area, This is Rocky Point. I'm not a cinematographer, so if this thing gets a little sketchy, sorry about that. It may be too fast, may be too slow, but I thought I'd at least give you a look around and just kind of see the view. If you haven't been here for a while, what it actually looks like. We all knew there were rocks all around here. So you can see that right now, that pole is what was always called the shallow pole. And you can see behind me, I was able to walk all the way out here below the high water mark. So lake level hasn't changed a whole lot since last report. In fact, it's doing some really weird stuff. If you're on the um, U.S. Geological Sur Survey's uh, map and pull up the data. It keeps hanging out between one point, minus 1.9 Rumsey and minus 2 Rumsey. And a couple days it'll go down, a couple days it'll come back up, and uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. It's almost like somebody's moving the gauge around and having some fun with it, but we're just going to call it uh, minus 2 Rumsey at this point. general conditions around the lake as you can see today we actually it kind of threatened some rain and there was a little sprinkle here and there but nothing that you know amounted to anything um, grass has finally started dying around the lake it's kind of floating around and little patches where we saw it before it's kind of disappearing and breaking up so Probably within the next couple of weeks, most of the grass will be gone, especially off the surface. Uh, water clarity was not great. I mean, the clearest water I saw, I could see about two feet. There was a little bit of an algae film in some of the areas that the wind had pushed back into some of the bays that um, it wasn't a problem and it wasn't an issue. It just it kept the water from being clearer than it was. I didn't really see any what I would call clear water anywhere that I ran this past week compared to weeks past where in some cases I saw water that had clarity up to four feet. The water temperature, it's hanging in the low 70s. Depends on the day and we had some warm days since the last report. Uh, we're going into a little window of cooler weather so I expect to probably start seeing some, well, at least high 60s for morning low as far as temp, water temps and probably up into the 73, 74 degree range. I saw this week 75 in a couple of places. So I think with the cooler weather that's coming through this coming weekend, we'll probably start seeing it dip down a little bit. It's a good it's a good range for the fish, so you know that part's not a problem at all. Um, so water clarity. Okay, boat ramp situation. The only two boat ramps that are currently open are Clear Lake Oaks and Fifth Street. Both have their issues. Fifth Street, the launch the uh, launch ramp parking lots between Fifth and Third. The construction continues. Uh, I showed up with three other guys one, one day in, in other boats and somebody had closed the road upon themselves. They just took it upon themselves to close off access to the launch ramp even though the launch ramp was not scheduled to be closed. So just who knows what will happen but uh, for the next couple of days we've been asked to park in the dirt lot that's to the north of the uh, 5th Street launch ramp because they're still working on the lot. 
launching there is still good. I think there's probably another, I don't know, it's going to depend on your boat, but the line that they have drawn across on the dock, I'm going to say at least another six inches of lake drop and single axle trailers, smaller boats should be able to launch. It will probably get a little bit dicey with, you know, the 21 footers, double axle trailers. I know there was one bigger boat, a pontoon that tried to launch here one day and they couldn't do it. It's still by far the better launch ramp to use at this point. Clear Lake Oaks launch ramp, you know, I've gotten messages from people and notes saying, hey, you know, we're, we're using the beach that's right next to the launch ramp. Um, one gentleman told me that, you know, he's got a 4x4 on a three quarter ton pickup and he didn't have any problems. Um, but I have talked to people who've had problems using the launch ramp because of the drop off. And I've actually talked to a couple people who had an issue on the beach. So bottom line, other than 5th Street, if you're using Clear Lake Oaks launch ramp, the word for me is still going to be do so at your own risk. So that's the launch ramp situation. Haven't heard anything more about any possible temporary extension. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. The uh, activities for this upcoming week end have been canceled. Or I shouldn't say canceled, they've been moved to another location. There was a team tournament scheduled. I believe it was a BBT scheduled here originally for Saturday. It has been moved and the following weekend on Saturday there was a future pro event scheduled for and it has been moved as well. Having said that, the last two weekends of the month still have multi-day events scheduled up here. So the first one is New Gen and then the last weekend of the month is ABA. So the last two weekends of this month, there's multi-day tournaments scheduled. There's only one place to go out of, that's 5th Street Launch Ramp. I would strongly advise you not coming here on those, those two weekends. It's going to be a mess. So I think those are your conditions. Uh, I'll talk about fishing just a little bit. It, it's typical fall and what that means is it depends on who you are. Uh, one day you can come out here and do real well, another day you might not. Our experience has been kind of spotty. Um, I did have a guy out the other day and he, he had 11 fish that he landed, he lost two. And I, honestly I thought that was a pretty good day. I've talked to other people looks like I'm gonna get blown out by a plane here. <laughs> I've talked to some other people who are, are, are struggling and you know in the last couple weeks I've had a five fish day out one day just fishing by myself so it's kind of a little bit of everything it's hit and miss but it's typical fall. Um, our fish have all been on reaction baits I have really not done anything on any soft plastics or any finesse baits but I don't really throw a lot of that this time of year we're always looking for a reaction bite and we've been catching our fish on lipless and um, a few underspin fish and rip baits but the rip bait bites a good example one day I come out here and we catch eight or nine fish on it the next day we come out we don't get bit so it's really up and down that way um, I've not been able to get on anything up on this upper end of the lake at all. So every day that we go out fishing, we're going down and running mid lake and below. So don't know if that helps you. Um, I did, uh, I know a couple people asked me about crappie and the one guide up here, Ed Legan, who fishes a lot for crappie. He's just not finding any right now. It doesn't mean that they're not out there. It just means they're not finding them. So that's uh, that's a report for that. I have not messed around with catfish at all. Although this week I'm probably going to spend a day looking for some. I think I know where I can go get, get a few anyway, a few bites. So that's, you know what, this report is what it is. And... Uh, 
it's not looking good. <laughs> it's amazing to sit here and look around here and see all these rocks and birds stacked up on rock piles and there's pelicans all over the place and places you shouldn't be able to walk that you can walk so <sighs> let's keep that rain dance going folks so we'll talk to you next week have a good one